So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song shortened? So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and entertainment. All right, hi everyone. Not Martha here. So we got two um two things I do before I watch um a couple days unless it's more than ten minutes. My post is by itself. It's two different things. And I'm looking at technically three different things. So let's look at them. Let me get, go to the video part. So. Looks like um, we got. Dream, Disney Dreamlight Valley update is coming soon with a new, brand new, Pixie and earned a uh, fresh reward. So miss a photo and weekly challenge. Vote for your fave, earn weekly moonstones and more. So, go and try that one out and have fun. Submitting for hopefully all of us get moonstones, not just a person who submits pictures. So that's why I wanted to say about that one. Now, looks like Jen Ragoner is going to be in um, Deadpool 3. Um, Hollywood Reporter is saying that. Um, you know, yet to see a trailer. Um, I usually don't try to do these, but since I found out on my own about this, I said might as well let you guys know. But don't think this is gonna be um, recurring stuff. So yeah. But if you guys ever watch Electra. It was basically a spin-off of um, a, a dead daredevil and the one of Ben Affleck in it. And she got to have her own movie. But really, a lot of people don't like neither of those movies. Especially when we got the TV show. But, I don't know. I guess it's the closest thing we're going to get since I doubt we're going to get Ben Affleck to put the Right, put um, the his suit back on, but this will work, I guess. So it's cool. Let's see if it hopefully it still fits her. So let's look at the other thing. That's probably more and more cooler, and that is. Wait for it. We got ourselves um. Hugh Jackman finally wearing the yellow spandex. Aren't you happy? From the cartoon, the 90s, from the one I grew up, the one I grew up watching. I am happy. I wish I would have. I can't wait to watch this movie now. When it comes out, you're gonna hear me go. Well, everyone's gonna hear me go in the theater, and everyone's gonna be like, "You looking at me?" <laughs> And, or they're going to be clapping themselves. Yep, Deadpool is going to say, that every so time he, like, we see like, a cameo, they probably wanna say, he's probably going to say, Okay, now you guys can clap now. <laughs> that's, cause that's him for you. But it's just nice to see that we're finally going to get our wish. Where we finally get to see him look like this. But he better put it on his mask. Is that, is he wearing his mask? I'm happy just getting the yellow spandex. We don't have to get the mask on him. <laughs> that would be really funny if they they put the mask on him, though. But I'm happy with the yellow spandex. Take that, X-Men 1. What'd you expect, yellow spandex? Like, screw you, Cyclops. Now I'm gonna go watch. Okay, news is over. Um, so, to we watched... The Superman show that came out on Adult Swim. I don't get it. 
I watched both episodes. Nothing in here looked like that it had to be on Adult Swim. Okay, so what we got for this, spoilers ahead. First episode's mostly about fighting robots. The second episode's about fighting Live Ryer, and I guess. Slade, last Deathstroke, though he kind of looks like Nightwing. Okay, <laughs> but it's fine. It's I guess they're trying to make, trying to tame him a little bit, not by showing, not by showing swords. I guess. At the very end, we get to see. I think I think Amanda Waller can't tell who the other guy was, but mostly I did like how um how they change the lighting every time, like um. Like the really the first time, but every time like Jimmy was explaining about the um, who he thinks like because since he believes in the supernatural and the conspiracy theories, they changed the lighting. But mostly I like uh, I, like the first time was pretty cold in it. Then after the third time, I got a little bit annoying. But he's kind of like he's supposed to represent us YouTubers, but he does not know how to do it right because he does in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I even know to turn on the light, except for when I'm doing pictures on my face. But still, um, Lois is um, who's supposed to be supposed to be spunky, adventurous, and stuff like that, and getting herself into trouble, so Clara can save her. That's good. And um, per Perry White is the one that's supposed to yell them, tell them, "Get out of my office! I don't believe you." And then I like the very end of the episode, we hear about Cat Grant um, getting the story that they were actually reporting. Because they're just interns, and their job is just to get coffee, and stuff like that. Um, also, I did like the fact that they made Jerrell, Clark's space dad, be the one who actually speaks um, Kryptonian. Because... It was always weird, like in the older movies and shows, that he already knew what English, when he knew how to speak English. And the way how they showed it, he just touched him and made it look like it rejected into his mind. So we can actually see his, his uh, planet blow up, his mom giving him to his dad so they so he can get sent off and stay alive. So, yeah. And the animation in this is pretty good. Now, I know there's a little. A lot of people are either mad or okay with it. I find it funny that the fact that guy that people say it's a guy's commer it's a guy show. You can't watch it. Yet what does the guy show take from a girl's show? Ha <laughs> ha Cla Superman it's transformation from uh, Clark's transformation to Superman looks like Sailor Moon's dance. <laughs> yeah! Instead, since there's no telephone boots around, since they're all destroyed now, basically. <laughs> I mean, the way that that picture framed it looked like. Because that's the only thing I knew about this before this. But I find it so funny! Hey, <laughs> hey! I mean, I like this two episodes, they were fine. I like the fact that Clark actually still saves small things, like saves a cat when he's little, when he's a little kid. He's trying to get his kite, can't reach it, and then he stops a car accident from happening because about to hit a dent. So he, I like the fact that he's not just trying to stop big things. He's trying to stop small things around him. That's what he's supposed to do. It's like in Incredibles. What was um, Mr. Incredible doing? In the Incredibles, he was saving both the cat and and stopping the criminals from getting um, from getting away. He did two things at once because he was emulating Superman, and this is basically what Superman is. So I'm ha I, I like this one. And if they want to have they want to add something from the girls show, go right ahead. I mean, I like both. I really think they should not have. Shows should not have genres. If you want to watch a show, you should can watch it. it. Doesn't matter if it's for boys or for girls, or for somebody else. You can watch it, no matter what. As long as you find entertainment into it, that's all that matters. So I give this one probably like an a nine out of ten, or an eight out of ten. I'll do an eight out of ten. So 
I like it. I probably we will probably review this every every single day. Do you guys enjoy the t the news I talked about earlier? Like, favorite, and subscribe. And bye bye.